In this chapter, we will examine the various components that make up a complete VSAT. The antenna. Feed. LNB. BUC. iDirect Satellite Router and IFL Cables. The first component is the satellite antenna which is required for the reception and transmission of signals to and from the satellite. Please note that the antenna usually has an elevation offset which you can find in your antenna manual. You will need to refer to this offset later on in the presentation. The LNB is part of the receive chain of your VSAT. The BUC is part of the transmit chain of your VSAT and is composed of two components, the local oscillator and the power amplifier. The feed is composed of the feed horn, OMT, the transmit reject filter, which is either built in or needs to be added on the receive end of the OMT, the waveguide, and circular tube for circular polarization requirements. There are three main polarization positions used for your SkyVision services. Refer to your SkyVision scheduling kit for your polarization requirements. Linear cross polarization. In order to transmit and receive in opposite polarities, you will need to assemble the feed so that the receive part of the OMT, which the LNB is attached to, is perpendicular to the ground, and the wide face of the waveguide is parallel to the ground. Linear co-polarization In order to transmit and receive in the same polarities, you will need to assemble the feed so that the receive part of the OMT which the LNB is attached to, is perpendicular to the ground, and the narrow face of the waveguide is parallel to the ground. Circular Cross Polarization In order to transmit and receive in opposite circular polarities, you will need to add the circular tube between the feed horn and the OMT. Assemble the feed so that the receive part of the OMT, which the LNB is attached to, is perpendicular to the ground and the wide face of the waveguide is parallel to the ground. Make sure that the receive part of the OMT is aligned to the desired reception polarity, either LHCP or RHCP, which is on the mouth of the circular tube. The iDirect Evolution X3 satellite router has several important features. Star topology. DVB S2 ACM outbound for greater efficiency and enhanced network availability. Automatic end to end uplink power control for higher network availability. Built in TCP and HTTP acceleration. Advanced QoS and traffic prioritization. There is also a red button to restart at the default configuration in case of contact loss because of user error. The default IP address of the satellite router is 192.168.0.1. The X3 Evolution image version for SkyVision services is version 9.0.0.7. Please note that the Evolution X3 has no Telnet status notifications regarding incompatible image versions. However, if the remote is not locked, it shows lock searching notifications.
Coaxial cables are used to connect the iDirect satellite router to both the BUC and the LNB. Selecting suitable coaxial cables is an important decision. Both the type of cable and the distance from the VSAT antenna to the satellite router will directly affect the quality of the received and transmitted signals. Skyvision's standard maximum length of cable is 30 meters. The coaxial cable used to connect the LNB and the BUC should have a 75 ohm impedance and typically should be either an RG6 or RG11 cable. The decision made regarding which of these two types to use is one of cost versus performance.